Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're, uh, we're out of here for another day. So I did get, uh, these guys came out, they picked up the hatch yesterday um, when they were at the shop. So we've got the hatch installed right now. Now it's not like permanently uh, installed. I've just got a couple bolts in it because these are the next pieces to go on. So we've already gone ahead and uh, made all of our lines and our adjustments. So you can see here, I've got little pencil marks on where I'm gonna line that up and then it's gonna sit nicely up there. So we're gonna see if we can get the B pillars on today. Both B pillars on both sides. The hatch, we're pretty happy with. I mean, guys, it, this thing is, like, as it's coming together, holy is it wide. Um, it's looking really, really good. The gap, so obviously there, there needs to be some body work. We need to, uh, to build up a little bit here. So again, there's no stoppers on there, so that'll sit up level once the stoppers are in there. And then, we're gonna build up this side of the, the quarter um, so that that gap is a little bit tighter. They've left it kind of loose on both sides just because it's easier to leave it loose and build it up than to make it too big and it doesn't fit. Now, because I'm still waiting for these taillights, which I think I've got a lead on a good set of taillights. Um, so hopefully in the next week I'll have those. Um, but right here, again, we might have to just build up this edge just ever so slightly just to make sure that it fits because we're doing all the body work without having the lights in. Um, we should already have those lights in there um, and this here fiberglass in, but we're gonna uh, continue going. We have to go with the situation we have and we don't have the lights. So we're gonna get these B pillars on, um, get them up and put on. I'm gonna take that hatch off now that I've got all my marks for where those are going. After we get the B pillars on, the front window is gonna go in, the side windows are gonna go in, that hatch will go back on and then it'll be off of the It'll be off of the rotisserie and, uh, and we'll be fixing the back bumper to it. We'll put it on Jack's back bumper, front fenders, front bumper, front hood, just to get an idea of what it's gonna look like. And so that Shane can start doing the body work because we're gonna have to block the whole car down, make sure that all the lines line up, all the seams are good, everything is, is mint on it. So we wanna get going on that. Um, they are working on, uh, I believe we're hoping we're, we're hoping for Tuesday or Wednesday of next week to have the paint samples uh, completely finished and out for the vote. So that'll be exciting. Um, once they're done, we can get working on the paint. And then hopefully that vote's probably going to be up for uh, a month or so. Hopefully by the time we get this block sander down, the body, up, everything fit the way it should be fitting, primered, the vote for the paint will be over and we can get some paint on it. So um, again, once we get all the lines done on the car, um, and everything is block sanded down, we will be uh, taking it apart again. The hatch will come off. The doors are gonna come off at that point so that the doors can be painted separately. We're gonna prime the whole thing, get her in a paint. Um, and then, like I say, we'll get it back and start doing some assembly. But for now, like I said, we're going to, uh, I mean, it's looking unreal. I know some people love the body kit. Some people do not like the body kit. They like the original Supra. But let me tell you, as it's coming together, seeing the progress it is an unbelievable body kit and i mean you can see how much wider it is it is huge so i think all in all i think uh by the time it's done it's going to be one of a kind she's going to look pretty pretty amazing so we're going to get set up here and uh see if we can mount those i'm going to get oh actually i've got to get this grounded off first so what i'll do is i'll take that hatch off and then i'll start doing the grinding so that we've got a good contact surface where we're going to bond it a bonding surface um, same thing the other side. I'll take this hatch off and then we'll start uh, we'll start getting some B pillars on. So, 
Now that I've got this all ground down, again, it goes all the way up everywhere that we're gonna um, bond that to the car. Just make sure we've got a good bonding uh, contact. And then the next thing that we're gonna be out here doing is inside of here, we need to glass all this in. So this all needs to be glassed in, feathered in all the way along here. Along the bottom, we need to make sure that all that's good. But like I said, we, uh, I got the hatch off so that I could grind all that down. Same on this side. These should be pretty easy to bond on because I feel like I should be able to bond them on, clamp them and leave them. And they, they should be pretty easy to clamp because it's a lot smaller surface than like the, the big quarters and the doors and stuff. So we should be able to get them on pretty quick. I am going to scuff up the B pillars with a 40 grit just to make sure that it's uh, good and ready to bond. And then uh, we'll get to bonding. So we've got, the, uh, we've got this all ground down. Like I said, I'm just gonna take real quick, I'm just gonna scuff this up just to make sure that the bonding surface is, is rough. Um, Derek's over there, he's just getting the, uh, the Norton Speed Grip ready. So I'm gonna give this a quick scuff, scuff down. And we're gonna mount it on the car. Here's how I screwed up. Derek went to answer the phone, because the phone was ringing, and I'm like, I've watched him speed grip it now. I can totally get in there and speed grip the side of it. And the mistake is, there was one minute speed grip in the gun, not the 15 minute speed grip, which means I can't move this. Now that it's in place, it's on. You see me, I've tried to move it, I can't, because that shit is so, quick to dry that, uh, and so hard that once it dries, it's permanent. So we're going to, uh, like I said, it's in place basically where it should be. I mean, it's off just by an eighth of an inch. We'll be able to fill all those in. Um, everything is where it should be. It's just, I don't have the time to move it um, the way I thought I was going to. So that's why I'm just holding this corner. I'm just making sure that for the next minute or two, while it final hardens, that everything is where it should be. The other side, we'll get it ready. We'll do a 15 minute on the other side. But uh, this side is on and it ain't coming off. For this side, I'm gonna use 15 minute. I'm gonna make sure it's 15 minute this time too. Okay, so this side is on. Again, we used, a, I shouldn't say we used, I used the one minute. So uh, got on there and, and hardened up real fast. So that's on there, ready to go. Like I said, we've got a little bit of room up front here that we get to build up. Right up along the front there, but we need to get the glass in before we can do that. But all, along, all in all, all the way along there, the seam is nice, right? This here gets filled in. We'll sand all that down. This is all gonna be one piece. Yeah, this is exciting, guys. Like I say, the more we do on it, the, the further it comes, the better it's, uh, better it's starting to look. Same thing here, it's just off a little bit here because when we pull the front down, um, it just wants to pull this back part off. But again, we're gonna fill that in. Um, we're gonna block the whole car, everything will look nice. So, it's, uh, it's looking really good. Like I said, the more we do on it, the more excited I'm getting, guys. It is really gonna look awesome when it's done. Um, I know some people don't like the body kit. They said they would have left it original. The other half love the body kit. I mean, this is what you guys voted on and it is a really high quality body kit. So I'm super excited to uh, get that. <clears throat> so like I said at the beginning of this video, guys, uh, we're hoping for early, mid next week, we're gonna have the paint samples done and the vote will be up so, we can, get, so we can get voting on, uh, on what the colors are gonna look like, what color we want. And then also uh, beginning of next week, uh, Derek's gonna go down to the supplier and get all of the supplies that we need for the carbon fiber roof, 
that's going to be another stage so um, as we're going here uh, things are just going to start picking up we can start putting the front glass in the glass has to go in before we can put the a pillars on um, now that this is on like i said after we move a couple things around the shop and get a couple more projects out this will come off the rotisserie it'll go on stands in the middle so we can start putting the the um, bottom side skirts on the front bumper the back bumper the hood stuff like that but i'm going to end that video there guys for those of you that are new to the channel, this is a 1997 Toyota Super that we're working on that's standing behind me here. Um, it's getting a Veilside 4509 GTR body kit. It is the only one in North America. There's 10 in existence right now. The other nine are in Japan or the Middle East. We have the only one in North America. It's what you guys voted on. Everything we do to the car gets voted on. And when we're done, we will be giving this car away to one lucky subscriber. So make sure you hit that subscribe button for your chance to win it. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff, and we'll see you in the next video.